Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The Indiana Governor's Office says Vice President-elect Mike Pence will complete his term in the state's top office until his term ends January 9th. Pence will become vice president when President-elect Donald Trump takes office January 20th. Republican Lieutenant Governor Eric Holcomb won the election Tuesday to succeed Pence. Governor-elect Holcomb left open the possibility of an early gubernatorial transition Wednesday, saying that decision was up to Pence. The Indiana Department of Transportation will invite members of low-income or minority communities who might be affected by Section 6 of the Interstate 69 extension to a series of neighborhood gatherings next week. The meetings will be held Monday through November 17th in Marion, Johnson and Morgan counties. Low income or minority community members who might be impacted by the extension will receive surveys to help the I-69 Section 6 project team determine the preferred and alternative routes of the section that will run between Martinsville and Indianapolis. And Indiana collected about $18 million less than expected in taxes last month, marking eight consecutive months in which the state's collections have failed to meet expectations. That's left the state with about $76 million less than expected. Sales taxes came in at about 1.5 percent worse than predicted in October, marking 20 out of the last 22 months that sales taxes were off the mark. And now a quick check of the forecast for tonight. Clear conditions, lows down to 42 degrees. And in the five-day forecast tomorrow, mostly sunny, 58, a little bit cooler on Saturday. Sunny conditions, though, 51, 56 on Sunday, mostly sunny, 58 the high on Monday. More news online, WTIUnews.org.